me feeling like I'm academics. Can't ride no way. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah. Thank you for that. This was, like, kind of weird. The Diddy and Cartel situation? All right. So... This is like a troll, honestly. So Diddy was named in a $666,000 lawsuit filed by an imprisoned cartel member over a drug business. And apparently the, the cartel member was Alfredo P. Gonzalez, who filed a defamation suit against Diddy in May, accusing him of ruining his drug smuggling business. Now, just think about this. How could, the, how could a uh, supposed cartel member sue somebody for defaming... His drug smuggling business, and it says a self-proclaimed uh, member of the Sinaloa cartel, imprisoned in Colorado, which, by the way, I believe Colorado is where the the the, the like the most high-profile prison is. So maybe they are in a Sinaloa drug cartel because if you were in the cartel, you'd be housed at a high-profile um, um, facility, which Colorado supposedly has like one of the the the, the highest-profile places. Anyway. It says that uh, there's a new law. There was a new lawsuit claiming that the rapper destroyed its illicit drug business, and um, they wanted six hundred sixty-six thousand dollars in damages. By the way, I think six six six. Wait, what the fuck? Oh, what? sorry, Jeff. Anyways, so I think six 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 is like the main thing that this person is trying to get out. I think it's somebody mentally ill. Anyway, it says uh, the complaint against Diddy to some of the previous cited allegations against him named in several of the previous filed suits. Bad Boy for Life. Um, the Bad Boy for Life has been accused of mis... All right. Okay, let me find another article. Sorry. Okay. Here we go. So, yeah... They claim that after declining the purported offers, so the case was filed in the Southern District of New York, but it was swiftly dismissed by the chief. Oh, here we, we got it right here. Perfect. Plaintiff, whatever, whatever, who appears uh, pro se. Oh, so this guy didn't even have a lawyer. He, apparently, he's locked up. So this is one of them niggas who like went into the law library. See, seeing a lot of the shit happen on the news, say, hey, maybe I could file a lawsuit on Diddy and probably, you know, kind of trump up all this stuff. Maybe they, they'll bring me in to, you know, either do an interview that could possibly help take him down, give me a lesser time. But this is somebody who's trying to get lesser time, right? Plaintiff Alfredo P. Gonzalez, who, who appears basically repping himself, is currently incarcerated in the Centennial Correctional Center or facility in Kansas City, Colorado, which brings this action of certain claims of defamation. He seems to allege that he's a citizen of Colorado. What if this is his Oh no, this is the order of dismissal, not the complaint. Oh by order dated blah blah blah, the court grants plaintiff motion uh request to proceed in in whatever whatever without prepayment fee, blah blah. blah. The court must dismiss a complaint or portion thereof that is frivolous and malicious and fails to state a claim upon which relief may be granted or seeks monetary relief from a defendant who is immune from such relief. The court also must blah, blah, blah. All right. So this is a dismissal order. It says the plaintiff has alleged, has failed to allege facts sufficient to show that he is standing to assert his claims and they limit the jurisdiction of all. Okay. Okay. So they're saying the plaintiff claims are frivolous. Leave to amend is denied. Okay. So this was a clickbait article, really. So essentially, an alleged cartel member filed a lawsuit against Diddy saying Diddy's whole situation fucked up his business, but it got denied because you can't file a lawsuit with the, you know, goal in mind of an illicit, illegal, 
um, business like drug dealing, right? You know, now obviously in certain places, you know, weed or whatever is 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 um, it is legal, but not everywhere. So like, it's kind of like an interesting thing. Oh, let me see. Did I find a better article? Yeah, it was swiftly dismissed because it doesn't uh, um, protect illegal activities. Plaintiff appears to allege that defendants have injured him with regard to his legal drug smuggling. So, so uh, uh, remember, this was Southern District of New York. So that's a th this is in U.S. District Court, right? So this is United District Court. Here's the thing. Even if maybe this had something to do with something in L.A. and, you know, L.A. weed is legal in United States federal court, weed is illegal. So essentially you claiming you have a, a weed business means that you're operating a business containing illegal activities. And because of that, um, they basically said they cannot offer any relief, which obviously that means that the case is dismissed. Plaintiff alleged that the defendants have injured him with regard to his illegal drug smuggling and sales business by defaming him. Because plaintiff's business is not alleged to be a legal protected interest, which is weed, obviously on, on a federal level, plaintiff has not shown that the defendants have caused him any injury. Um, in fact, for the purpose of establishing blah, blah, blah um yeah so they say they say the dude is pretty much made of some frivolous shit and honestly i know people want diddy to be in more trouble but the reality is you have a inmate who probably is not with the cartel they went to the law library they're trying to trump up what they got going on to hopefully get like some I don't know, maybe some work release or they're trying to get out on some type of parole or probation. But the reality of the whole thing is that, hey, whoever this guy is, tried to make up a story and the story just didn't work. So I, 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 there's not much to talk about when it comes to this. According to complaint, the trouble began when he refuses to assist Combs' alleged request to track to traffic minors oh so that's how they're trying to tie it in they're saying that 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 um you got sean combs who was asking the cartel to traffic minors through their tunnels that they usually traffic cocaine and uh, other things and traffic minors across the border this and third and apparently here's complaints i think we got a complaint here okay this is a complaint right Here we go. By the way, yes, he's representing himself. Mm. No, this is. Uh... Give me a second. I'm sorry, Chad. I'm looking for the complaint. No, this is an order of dismissal. It's still not a complaint. All right, whatever. Okay. According to complaint, the trouble began when uh, they refused to assist uh, Sean Combs' alleged request to traffic minors. That's cat, bro. You could tell. Plaintiff claimed that after declining these purported offers, he was told that his life would be made hell due to the power Combs had in the streets. Gonzalez further alleged that this led to the loss of his New York-based drug business contracts. What type of goofy shit is this? The nigga is saying that he lost his drug connects or his plug connect because him and Diddy got into it. Bro, what type of law enforcement officer is going to enforce that? The plaintiff claimed that after declining these purported offers, he was told his life may live in hell. By Combs in the streets, he alleged further that he it led to the loss of his... Okay. Fit to respond to the case in a... Okay. Yeah, I think that's bullshit. Honestly. 
Complete bullshit. Complete bullshit. All right, chat. I ain't gonna lie. Listen, man. Uh, it's two o'clock, nigga. I'm finna call it, bro. Um, I actually apologize because we're, we're only about like four hour forty five minutes, but um, I want to do a daytime stream tomorrow. So, chat. I'll be back tomorrow. Uh, daytime stream. Uh, really, I just wanted to get the Yachty shit uh through, and I, you know, I, I, I kind of did a few other.